So this is not a tutorial video like I normally do. This is a story video. It really has nothing to do with technology or computers or anything. But uh, it's something that I want to bring up so that people are aware, even though I don't really care at this point in my life. So my birthday's coming up. I'm going to be turning 40. By the time you guys see this video, I'll already be 40, and I'm ready for it. I've been in my 30s for long enough. I mean, no longer than anybody else, but I'm ready for a new decade. And um, a good friend of mine from high school, who I don't see that often, was nice enough to send me a birthday card, and in it, he sent me a gift card to Starbucks. Now, I don't go to Starbucks often because I don't drink coffee, but I definitely look forward to getting myself a sandwich or a pastry or whatever else they have there. But it makes me think back 16, 17 years ago, uh, before I was a firefighter, when I was going through the fire academy, I got myself a part-time job at the Barnes & Noble Cafe. For those of you who don't know, Barnes & Noble is a bookstore. And within the bookstore, they have a cafe, which serves Starbucks coffee. But it is not a Starbucks, and that is what the story is about. Um, so, it's not really a story, but more of just a, a, a conversation, if you will. So, people quite often didn't realize that we were not a Starbucks, that we just serve Starbucks coffee. And you might ask, well, what's the difference? So the difference is this, uh, a few things. We don't have everything Starbucks has. We had a few types of coffee and a few types of pastries, but we didn't do everything Starbucks did. We were a company that served Starbucks coffee, but we were not Starbucks. The sign was very misleading because it was a green circle that said Barnes Noble Cafe, and then in the middle they had the Starbucks logo and it said serving Starbucks coffee. And sometimes people come in and try to order stuff that Starbucks has that we don't. That wasn't that big of a deal. We would explain it to them and they go, oh, okay. But what became a problem was this. People would bring in Starbucks gift cards place their order and go, oh, here's my gift card. And we go, oh, sorry, we're not a Starbucks. And people go, what do you mean? Well, look, look at the sign. And I'd be like, uh, yeah, look at the sign, read it. It doesn't say we're a Starbucks, it says we're serving Starbucks coffee. Now I tell people the story and they go, well, that's an honest mistake. And yes, yes, I get it was kind of misleading. And we're wearing green aprons, it looks like a Starbucks. The sign has a Starbucks logo on it. And I understand people not realizing that we aren't a Starbucks, but once I pointed out, people would get mad at me and be like, well, well I, I got a gift card. I want to use my gift card. It's like, well, I, I don't know how you expect me to do that. I've, I've explained we're not a Starbucks. We don't have Starbucks systems. I can't do anything with your gift card. And people would get mad at me. So the point of me telling this story is to kind of point out, and I think most people would know this, is just you can't get mad at a worker for the system, right? And I don't know, people act like they, if they yelled at me or asked for a manager, it would change the situation. But there was absolutely no way for us to take Starbucks gift cards because we were not a Starbucks. I compare it to you going to a grocery store like Publix or Winn-Dixie or wherever grocery store you have near you. They sell Starbucks coffee there, right? They sell the bags of their coffee. You can't use a Starbucks gift card there, right? Just because it's a Starbucks product, it's not a Starbucks store. We were the same thing. We were just cooking the coffee or percolating the coffee? Well, you don't percolate it. Whatever you would call it. We would heat the coffee up for you. Um, but it was just so hard. I, I mean, I get the confusion. What I don't get is once it's pointed out why people would try to argue and fight and think that it's going to make a difference. Because I don't know what they expected us to do. Um, and it happened quite often. And, and people would get upset with me and ask for managers and stuff like that and insist that they take the gift card. You know, I get, you know, some people went, oh, you know, I can't. Oh, I was planning on using that and I, I don't want my stuff anymore. And they, I completely understand that. I, that's what I would do. If I went someplace thinking I was going to use a gift card and they wouldn't take the gift card, I, I wouldn't then pay for the product. I mean, unless I really wanted it. But uh, lots of times when I get a gift card, like I said, I don't normally go to Starbucks because I don't drink coffee. But I definitely look forward to using this and I'm very thankful a friend gave it to me. Um, but if I went to Starbucks and they said, oh, sorry, we can't take your gift card for whatever reason, uh, I wouldn't go, oh, well, here's my, I'd be like, sorry, I, I don't want it then, and I'd walk away. Um, so yeah, just be kind. It's, it's, it's always crazy when you see someone getting mad at an employee for doing their job. You can get mad at the company, but, but don't get mad at the person behind the counter. Um, so just be kind, be courteous, and yeah, if, if you're being wrong, fight for your rights, but don't blame the man in the middle. Have a great day.